Hey everybody, it is Monday, new week, a couple of envelopes in my mailbox right here to take a look at. Two of them to be exact, one's a TTM, one's a trade. Internet's been kind of dodgy all day, um, it's pouring down rain. I'm glad to just be back inside now. So let's go ahead and take a look at this trade first. It's a deal I made on a at a Facebook group. I had one that I need for my 72 set. And speaking of the 72 sets, the uh, Heritage checklist has finally come out and uh, I just bought my base set of that. So I should have that hopefully in the mail in the next couple of weeks coming to me. Now for the original 72 set, as you'll see right here, it's the 1971 NL Home Run Leaders card. It has three players on it, Willie Stargell, Hank Aaron, and Lee May. And this one is signed by Mr. Lee May. All three deceased. So I'm just glad to have one that has at least one signature on it out of those three. I mean, two Hall of Famers, all three guys no longer with us. I'm more than happy to get that Lee May one out of the out of the three. I mean, for a long time, I thought that was going to be one that I'm never going to get anything on. So, very happy to pull this in. Got in trade for a Ryan Sandberg autograph. So, yeah, take that deal any day. Moving on, we've got one TTM right here. It's postmarked from Los Angeles, California. Uh, the initials on it are RB. I think this one is going to be a hockey one. Not just a hockey one, but a hockey Hall of Famer in here. If you know who I'm talking about. And those came out excellent. Wow, I will show you. I'll go ahead and show three of these ones. But uh, Hockey Hall of Famer, as I said, and that is Mr. Rob Blake. Sent rookie cards of him. And there, we'll go ahead and show up that third one there. Sent some rookie cards right there and got them back signed. Very happy to see those. So, a few more for the uh, rookie card of Hall of Famer, or Hall of Famer rookie card autographs, I guess. So, uh, of course, I got uh, Martin St. Louis last week. Um, got a couple others I've gotten in the past. Uh, hopefully, I have a Mike Gardner coming in pretty soon. So, yeah, good stuff right there. So, once again, thanks for tuning in, and hopefully that's just the start of this week. We'll see you right up next. Do I have any on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that? Right up now. All right, it is Tuesday afternoon. Got two TTM envelopes in the mail and also a purchase from Sport Lots. I'm going to go ahead and open that on up if I can do so very quickly. Nothing autographed to show off here, but uh, future TTM related at least. So i uh, show you what I picked up here. It'll be heading out into the mailbox here at some point in the next couple of days, weeks, something like that. It actually goes with the cards I picked up at that... Uh, Local card show a couple weeks ago. You may remember that I showed off the autographs I got from there, and I think I showed the uh, unsigned ones that I picked up there as well. And so, planning on sending off some of those, I got some other stuff to go with those. And let's see here. Taped together real nicely here, but we're almost there. I'll get into this here in just a second, hopefully. Uh, like I said, I got two TTMs coming up after that. One is from Boston. Took only a six-day turnaround on it, too, which is absolutely amazing. And one from up in Canada with about a six-week turnaround, which, you know, kind of is the typical going speed for a lot of uh, ones up to Canada. Got a few back in about three weeks there. Got a few in about six weeks. It kind of just varies a bit. Had some take way longer. But, all right, let's get into these. All right, you know what? We're just going to tear those like that. Close enough. Three out of four is pretty good. So... What I picked up was, uh, I may have showed before, I got the uh, John Boca Bella rookie card. It's a duel with him and I believe it was Billy Cowan. So I'm sending off to Billy Cowan first, but then we're going to be sending, once it gets back, to uh, Boca Bella. So I picked up this 1970 Topps card to also send off to him. I mentioned also I had the uh, Dodgers rookie card that had uh, Jim Ferry and uh, I think it was Jack Bellingham possibly on it. Let's gonna go to Ferry first. So I picked up this Expos card from the 1969 top set as well. And then we have just some other random singles here, mostly from 1970 tops as well. They'll be heading out, including Rich Hebner, going with his uh, rookie card with Al Oliver. Got a Ron Hansen rookie, or not rookie card, just a Ron Hansen 1970 card right there, which will be going with his 1960 tops rookie card that I've got ready to go. Got a George Mitterwald that'll be heading out once I get Rick Rennick back. And speaking of Rick Rennick, there's his 1970 card as well. About to send to Frank Duffy, so we'll throw that one in with him. He's on a duel with Milt Wilcox, I think it was. It's already signed by Wilcox. Got another Hebner right there. Got the 75 Mini of Frank Duffy as well. And one more here of John Bocabella to go out to him. So, there you go. Several uh, cards to send out by mail here in the next couple of weeks or so. We're supposed to get our uh, stimulus check on Wednesday, so probably go and get some stamps not long after that and get some of these all mailed off. 
And now taking a look at the ones that came back, we'll take a look at that Boston one second. I said that one only took six days. We'll take a look at the uh, Canadian one first. Postmark from Tidehead, New Brunswick, as the uh, actual hand-canceled one there on the uh, postmarks there. Postmarked on the 15th, today's the 23rd, so it took eight days from going in the mailbox to getting over the border and here to the U.S. You see the initials are SM on it, and I think this is going to be a tough guy from the, all throughout the 90s and on into the 2000s, Mr. Sandy McCarthy, and, you know, they all have done this. Let's take a look at one of his, uh, one of his fights right here. <laughs> now big Sandy McCarthy in there, and off the draw, they drop the gloves. McCarthy and McSorley in a mixed scrap. <laughs> Marty McSorley getting his right hand free. Now McCarthy trying to get him some laps. As we pick up where we left off the other night, McSorley with a good right in tight on Sandy McCarthy. These two big customers were taking the face off in the Calgary end. The linesmen will pick their spot before these two are separated. Now McSorley's jersey has been taken off, but Marty wears an oversized jersey in case of this situation so he can get it off and keep his hands free. McSorley getting in some rights now on Mc McCarthy. Marty McSorley with a right hand free is now stripped McCarthy of his helmet. McSorley and McCarthy exchanging right hands. Oh, what a heavyweight battle this one is. The linesman wanted to go in there but they decided to let them go, and they continue to go at it. McSorley with some more rights. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is wild, Nick. Marty McSorley, after watching him for years now, he comes on when, every, when the other guy gets tired. I've gotten McCarthy a few times in person because uh, he played for the Rangers for a bit, and he actually played for the Bruins as well, and... Uh... So when he was with the Rangers, we used to see them quite a bit up in Boston. And, of course, you know, having him for the uh, Bruins there had a number of time, number of chances to get him to sign. So I'll show you these two. I've already got the tops total one signed, but I figured, you know what, we'll see if we can get a, another one, see which one looks better. And I like the one I got in person better, but still, that's a solid signature there. And, of course, one from, who is this, the, uh, the Titan de Laval, QMJHL, or uh, LHMJQ, I believe is how it would be in French, but... Uh, yeah, several cards signed by him. Very happy to get those ones back. Move on to that second one I said was from Boston. Only a six-day turnaround. So I sent this one out Wednesday last week. And here it is Tuesday this week, and it's already back. So uh, very quick response from Mr. Jim Lonborg. And yeah, signed all three cards I sent. I'll show off these two oldest ones first. These are two of the ones I picked up actually at that card show about a week and a half ago. Those turned out quite excellent right there. So Jim Lonborg, very happy to get those ones back. St. McCarthy got him as well. And so the week continues on. Hopefully we'll have some more to come up on Wednesday. Stick around and see what comes up right now. Hey, everybody. It is Wednesday the 24th. Three envelopes in the mailbox today. Two from Canada, one from the U.S. Let's take a look at the one from the U.S. here first. Got a postmark from North Houston, and the initials are J.E. on this one. You may recognize that that one is going to be Johnny Edwards. Former catcher for, what, the Astros, the Reds, maybe a couple other teams, but at least those ones. And so I sent him three cards. All three came back signed. 62, a 68, and a 72 right there. Plus, as per usual with Mr. Edwards, he also added in three signed photos as well, personalized to Drew with best wishes. One Cardinals, one Astros, one Reds. So, Wow. And it only took about a one-week turnaround on that as well. So, one of the best signers you're ever going to find out there. Got him back real quick. Yeah, highly recommended. Uh, he's actually, the first time I sent to him was a couple of years ago, and it took only five days to get those ones back. So, yeah, great stuff there. Moving on, let's take a look at the Canadian ones. This one is from BG. No postmark on it. Stamp didn't get canceled. But uh, I believe this one is going to be former Red Wing star... Um, who else did he play for? The Canadians, maybe a couple other teams in there, but uh, Brent Gilchrist, I think, is who we've got here. And yes, it is. Use the letter to uh, wrap the cards up and protect them. And yeah, it looks like he signed everything I sent, which was four cards. And so, yeah, we'll show you two of these real quick. 
Stars one and one of the Canadians ones. There you go. Good stuff. There. I thought I'd send a Red Wings one. I might not have, or he might have kept a couple. I don't know. But either way, definitely happy to get those ones back. Uh, he's a guy that I've been wanting to get for a while, and I think he may have just been not signing for a while, or I may have just been lazy when sending to Canada. I can't remember now, but either way, glad to get those ones back. And the third one, initials are SS. Stamps also not canceled. I think this is going to be Stan Smeal of the Vancouver Canucks. And yeah, that is who we've got here. And we'll show you two of those right there. So, there you go. Good stuff in the mailbox here once again. Thanks for tuning in, and hopefully we're going to have some more to come on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, coming up right after this. Hey, it's Thursday, and I've got one item in the mailbox here. This one's another one from Canada. Based on the postmark, I believe it's from Quebec. And from the initials on it, RH, this is going to be a former Montreal Canadiens player and uh, GM. Good player, terrible GM. This should be Rajon Hul. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't think there's any accents on uh, the last name there. And put in some extras here as well, it looks like. So, cool stuff here. So, yeah, he signed the two cards that I sent. Right there. Those. He also signed the protective index card that I had in with it. And included a signed photo of his own. That on the front and right there on the back is the signature and like a short bio. Yes. Vice President of Hockey or Vice President of Hockey and Managing Director. Born in Rouen, Quebec, October 25th, 1949, both French and English on that. So cool stuff there. Uh, happy to get those ones back, of course, from Mr. Ray Jean Houle. And so we still got Friday and Saturday on the way, hopefully. Hopefully we can have some uh, mail coming in on those days. So if we do, follow up right after this. Well, it is Saturday morning. I'm up kind of early. At least out earlier than I usually am. Not quite 10 o'clock. I'm going heritage hunting. So uh, I went through last night, found a uh, about 17, I think it was, uh, Walmarts, Targets, all that, all around the area. Mapped them out into a decent order to go in. And I'm going to try to find some heritage blasters, or at least some packs or something, you know, because uh, I bought a complete set of it on eBay. It won't ship for another few days yet, and I'd like to at least get a little bit of it, you know, just to start things out, see if I can pull some SPs or something, some uh, inserts I can trade off for some SPs, something like that. So uh, let's see what we can find, because, you know, stuff's been getting bought up real quick here lately. So, uh, yeah, 18 Walmarts and Targets all here around... Uh, the mid cities area going as far out as like uh for if you can know the dallas area going out to the cockerel hill walmart to start up to love field across the north richland hills and down along like uh, i-20 or thereabouts then kind of looping back into central arlington arlington to hit the uh at t stadium one last if all else fails i'm run by the card shop as well but there you go let's see what comes of this and uh we'll see if i get anything uh anything at all so here we go all right, so Cockrell Hill, total, total bust. Um, went to where the cards looked like they were supposed to be. Didn't see anything at all, just some non-sports stuff, some, uh, you know, small toys and things like that, but no uh, no sports cards at all. So we're 0 for 1 so far on this 17-place uh, voyage. So next up, we're going to try a Target. This one is going to be up close to Love Field Airport. We'll see what we can find there, if anything. Unfortunately, here at Target, also nothing. It's one over by Love Field. And even the sign there hasn't really helped them to keep stuff in stock, as you can see. So, 0 for 2, we'll venture on. Different Target, same result. Nothing. And to even add this one, they're only going to be available on Tuesdays at 8 a.m. That's insane. So there we go. We are now over three, over four now, over three, something like that. Well, we're up to over four now. The Irving Walmart had nothing once again. Didn't bother getting any video inside there, but I just want to go back to that Target sign. That is ridiculous. I mean, you're saying, okay, well, we're only going to let you pick up at eight o'clock in the morning on Tuesdays. Well, thanks. All you've done now is empower all the flippers that are out there. That they're going to be the only ones getting the pride. Anybody who's out there is a legitimate collector who actually has a real job on the side can't get any of the cards. 
any kids out there that want to start collecting and want to get themselves, you know, a blaster of heritage or something like that, hey, sucks for them. They can't get it. You're gonna have to go online and pay three times as much. That's insane. I mean, Target has Target is partially responsible for helping ruin all this. So from here, it's going to be on over toward uh, State Route 121. There's a Target and a Walmart over there. Not holding out much hope on either of those. I'm probably just going to go ahead and start cutting the videos down here because unless I find something good or something different, it's going to be a lot of the same here for I think the next, uh, well, I've got 12, 13, 14 more on the list here. Yeah, it's going to get awfully repetitive, I think. So if I come across anything good, we'll have some video. If not, well, we'll wait until something good or different pops up. So let's see what 121 has to offer us. All right, so we're getting a little bit closer, as you may have just seen by the photo that I just took while I was inside there at the Target here in North Richland Hills. They actually had a few cards there. Unfortunately, it was only fat packs of the current uh, regular base tops release, 2021 Series 1. But at least it's something. I mean, we're getting somewhere, but God, it took me, this is what, my seventh or eighth stop that I've made today. It's the furthest to the northwest that I'm going. So from here, we're gonna take a southward swing down toward uh, Interstate 20. Check the ones that are along I-20, see what we can find there. But again, I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope on Heritage at all, which, uh, yeah, kind of sucks, but you know what? That's the best we've found yet so far. So at least there's something out there somewhere. I'm not going to, you know, go spending anything on it because I'm just looking exclusively for Heritage, but it's a start. Let's see what happens. Oh, the humanity. So my ninth stop is at a Walmart in North Richland Hills, which wasn't even on my initial list at all. And I went in, searched everything, and I finally found one pack of Donruss Racing. And you know what? NASCAR drivers are great TTMers, so I figured, you know what? Screw it. Six bucks. I'm taking a chance. Fine. I, I, I got to get something at least, so this isn't totally a waste of the trip. I'm going to take a look through real quick, see what I got out of it, if anything good. See at least one decent one so far, but let's see. All right, so there you go, Haley Deegan. She's a very good TTMer. I've gotten her once before. Oh, let's see here. I think I've gotten a William Byron before as well, so he's another good signer. I have to check into a few of these ones, like Ben Rhodes, Natalie Decker. It's a rated rookie on her. Cool. Riley Herbst, uh, Ryan Blaney, Matt Di ben Benedetto. I think I've gotten him before. Ty Dillon. I'm pretty sure I've gotten him. Danica Patrick, unfortunately, doesn't sign. There's another Di Benedetto. I like this. Uh, so they've done here in kind of the 88 design. There's at least a little reference to the 88 in there. Uh, William Byron, I think he signs. Kyle Busch, Reed Sorensen, Joey Logano, I'm pretty sure signs. Noah Gregson, Garrett Smithley. Got an optic 88 retro here of Sam Mayer, and not only an optic, but an optic prism of him. Cool stuff there. Uh, I've got the uh, gray border or silver border, I guess, Brandon Jones. Uh, blue border, Brett Moffitt. I think that's the Carolina blue, possibly. Ty Majeski in the Carolina blue as well. It's kind of cool. Chase Elliott. We got a uh, another optic here. This is the uh, some kind of a blue prism here going on of Austin Sindrick. It's kind of a cool looking one. Hopefully you get the effects there. Got a Bubba Wallace. He's a good TTMer as well. Mark Martin in the retro series. I've gotten him by mail before. Martin Truex Jr., Jeff Burton, and a contender's ticket of Ryan Blaney. It's pretty cool looking right there. I think Blaney might sign off to look and see if he does. But yeah, so some potential uh, TTMable stuff right there. We'll see how that goes. And uh, from here, I think it's onward down south. You're going to be heading down toward uh, down 820, toward uh, kind of southwestern corner of the uh, mid cities area here. See what we come up with. Haven't had any uh, luck on Heritage so far, but got a pack of Don Russ Racing at least. So got something. All right, so we still have a giant Ofer on Heritage. I'm up to, uh, what is this? 10, 11 places so far, about two thirds of the way through. Not sure if I'm gonna make it to all 17 of them today or not. Got an actual uh, two potential in-person autograph outings coming up later today. But at Target here on uh, East Chase, east side of Fort Worth, I did at least grab a box, a hanger box here of 2021 Tops Series 1. I think we'll take a chance on that, you know, why not? So, let's see, we've got 67 cards it says in there. So, uh, 
hopefully there's at least something decent in there, you know, insert autograph, somebody who signs TTM, I don't know. Maybe I'll take a chance, why not? So, quick scan through of those. I got the Tigers team card right off the top. The, uh, let's see, Josh Harrison, Jose Llorena, Ian Anderson, David Dahl, Oliver Perez. That's the design, by the way, if you haven't seen 2021 tops yet, that's the horizontal ones there. Uh, Wade LeBlanc, San Diego four games, four slams checklist card. Trevor Williams, Hunter Renfro, Griffin Canning, a lot of horizontal ones here right off the top of everything. Here's one of the vertical ones here, Marco Gonzalez, so you can see both varieties there. Uh, let's see here, we've got Wilson Ramos, Clayton Kershaw World Series card, Lourdes Gurriel, Luis Robert, Robert, something like that, Francisco Lindor, yeah, thanks. Uh, give me the guy they just traded. Arr. I can't complain, they got a good return. Uh, Luis Robert, Francisco Lindor, uh, Teoscar Hernandez, Albert Pujols, Roberto Osuna, Matthew Boyd, Luke Voigt League Leaders card, Josh Reddick, Brute Star, Gratterall, Future Stars, there's a potential TTMer right there. It's always been good about it in the minors, at least. Andres Jimenez, my uh, rookie card. That's, uh, you know, the new Indians acquisition there. So kind of funny getting him and Lindor in the same pack there. Also got rookie cards of Nick Madrigal, uh, James Caprillian, Alec Baum. All right, can't complain much there. Gavin Lux, um, a Freddie Freeman home run challenge card. Got a Brad Hand gold card here, a number 881 out of 2021. Got a 52 style Shohei Otani and Miguel Cabrera and Jordan Alvarez and Buster Posey. All right. It's cool. Uh, let's see here. We've got the 35th anniversary George Brett card. It's in the 86 design. Cool stuff there. A Hank Aaron card right there. A uh, guess a little bit of a uh, memorial there to him. I like that one. It's a nice looking card. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see here. Daniel Murphy, Brad Hand's regular card, not the gold one. Nomar Mazzara, Austin Hayes, Robbie Ray. Do it for the fans. Do it for the cutouts card of. Uh, uh, the White Sox on a checklist. All right. Uh, Nico Goodrum, Marcelo Zuna, league leaders, Anthony Santander, Hunter Harvey, Charlie Morton, Matt Chapman, Joaquin Soria. We've got Randy Dobnak. Hope he TTMs. I'd like to get him again. I traded off my only signed card of him. Uh, Lewis Brinson, Whit Merrifield, Austin Riley, Michael Taylor, Gio Urshela. Guy the Indians gave up on too soon. Francisco Mejia, another former Indian there. Marwin Gonzalez, Brandon Woodruff, Cody Whitley, rookie card, Mike Yastrzemski, Jesus Sanchez, rookie card, Patrick Corbin, Tony Kemp, Jay Bruce, Eric Sogard, and Malik Smith. So hopefully at least a couple of those guys signed by mail. I can you know, send these out or something to go along with the uh, racing pack I opened earlier. But from here, it's going to be onward further south in the Dallas-Fort Worth area here. Um, I'd forgotten about these ones here on East Chase. So now we're actually going to be heading down toward 20, and we'll see what we find. All right, a little mid-afternoon interlude here on this Saturday. I ran by the house to uh, so I could respond to an email that wasn't, for some reason, wasn't able to come up on my phone. But I figured I'd hit the mailbox as well and came across four TTMs plus a purchase that I made. So I'm going to go ahead and open those real quick here while I'm at home and then back on the heritage hunt again. So first off, this purchase, like I said, that I made is from a friend of mine, Fernando, up in Canada. Had some stuff I needed for my sets, and so I picked them all up from him. And let's see here. Go ahead and try to get these out from there. So first up, we've got the Ron Lowe for the uh, Topps OPG Archive set. I already have one of these, but the SIG on it wasn't the greatest. It was in a bad pen. This is a lot better. I like that a lot. Also, one for my Topps total set right here. Miroslav Shatan now knocks me down to eight that I have left out of 440 cards on that set. So inching my way closer with that pickup. All right, we also have a uh, another Topps Opeachy Archives one right here. It's a guy that I tried to TTM, didn't have any luck with him about a year ago, so I figured, you know what, bite the bullet and go ahead and buy this one. So we've got the Grant Fuhr autograph right there. And then we've got two more right here for sets. We've got one for that same Topps and Opeachy Archives one with Peter McNabb being added to the collection. I actually have the original of this one signed. I was hoping that maybe I could swap that somewhere along the line, but well, I've still got that, so it's still trade bait out there. And the last one, this one's one of the Throwbacks gold ones, unfortunately, but it's a decent filler for now, at least. And that's the Lanny McDonald one there. So it's another one that I tried TTMing and never got him back. So, you know what? I'm good with that. It's a, like I said, the gold's a solid filler, at least for now. Moving right along, let's go ahead and check out these TTMs. I know who three of them are. One of them I have no idea, so we'll start with that. 
Postmark from Miami, Florida. The initials on it are J-O, and it was sent out maybe a week or so ago, week and a half at most. Feels like there's only one card in here. I'm trying to remember, and I'm totally blanking on who it might be. It is John Offerdahl, and he swapped out my card for a different one, unfortunately. I sent him the 91 Pro Set uh, Pro Bowl card, the art one. Or all Pro Set, I guess. Sent him the art card, and he swapped out and put it in a 1990 Pro Set with a dinged corner, unfortunately. But it's a SIG, so we'll take it. Hopefully I can trade for that 91 somewhere along the line. Let's go ahead and take a look at these other ones. We've got one that uh, is postmark from Reno, Nevada. And he even signed the envelope right where I wrote his initials. And feels like he signed both the items I enclosed, and I think maybe even wrote a letter back, which he's been known to do since this is my second time TTMing him. I have to open it on the other side here just so we're not uh, wrecking the autograph there that's on the uh, envelope. Might be able to do like a cut piece with it or something. I don't know. So, there we go. It's going to be Rick Kester. So with a note, he wrote, Drew, happy to sign your cards. Even though my career ended prematurely due to a shoulder injury, what a great experience to get to have. Uh, made some great friends in on that journey. Best wishes to you, Rick Kester. And he did sign both items. First off, the custom index card that I put together. And he finished the duel that I picked up. You may remember seeing this a couple weeks ago when I went out to the card show up in Allen. Got the uh, 71 top signed by Ralph Gar, and I added Kester's signature now to the bottom, so... Nice looking completed duel right there. Kept the uh, blue pen the same on it there. Yeah, real happy with that one. Makes up for John Offerdahl's quite a bit there. So, uh, let's see here. Keep that envelope there. Move on to these next two. These are both from Canada. This one has the initials of JL. Postmark is the R3H uh, zip code or whatever they call it up there. I think this is going to be Jamie Leach. Former Pittsburgh Penguins forward. I think he played briefly with the Cleveland Lumberjacks as well. And yeah, whoa, lost my trash pile over the side there. But yeah, looks like he signed everything and included his business card with Shoot to Score Hockey. And yes, it is indeed Jamie Leach. We'll show you two of those real quick here. 90 score, 90 Opeachy. Great stuff right there. So like I said, you know, former, uh, former Penguin, that's my team. Glad to get those. Last one, the initials are LB. This one comes from the M4L region. I believe that's near Toronto, if I remember right. Initials on it are LB, and I believe this is going to be Mr. Les Binkley. He also added an extra 12 cents of postage on it to make sure that it gets back. Let's see if we can carefully open that up. That's going to be kind of tough, so uh, let's try going down the side. There we go. That side works a little better on this one. And he signed my card, my index card, and enclosed a signed photo as well. I'll show you the photo first here from his time with the Penguins. Also, the card from his time with the Penguins. I picked that one up actually at a, what do you call it? I guess kind of like a flea market type thing in Corpus Christi, Texas about 10 years ago. Had a whole bunch of late 60s hockey ones. And it's another one to get signed. You can see it actually has the uh, top stamp stuck on the back of it there as well. Kind of a cool thing to have added on there, even if it damages the card, whatever. And signed the index card that I had in for protection as well. So... There you go. Despite the disappointment on the uh, offered all success, it's a success nonetheless, just not what I was hoping it would be. But aside from that, very good day here at the mailbox. So once again, thanks for checking in. We'll hopefully have uh, some in-person stuff coming up later on after this. I'm uh, going to go do some more heritage hunting over the next about two hours or so. It's almost two o'clock here. I should probably be over to Chris's by about 3.30 or so. So I don't know how many more uh, places I'm going to check out just yet, but I'm at least going to take a, a southwestern swing here, see what I can find down there by, uh, I think it's 20 and 287 is where the one's at. See what we can find there. We'll be back on here, hopefully in a bit, hopefully with some heritage, but I'm not putting good money on it. But thanks again for tuning in. Keep it right here. There's more to come. All right, Saturday afternoon. We're out here at the TBU Baseball Stadium. I'll be seeing there a little bit. And in there, uh, we're waiting on Andy Pettit. So we'll see what happens here. See if we can get him on the way out and uh, get a few cards signed. If so, show him off here as soon as we get him done. Well, that went uh, quite well. I'm gonna go ahead and show these off real quick here. The first in-person outing I've had in quite a while, about a year now, I think. 
So I took four cards of Andy Pettit with me and show them off real quick. There's one, uh, is it, that's showing up there. There's one, there's two. 96 Circa there for number three. And this one, it's one of my favorite sets ever. Very little known set, unfortunately, but it's the Pinnacle All-Star Fan Fest from 1997. And got that one signed as well. So, four out of four from Andy Pettit. Uh, Chris over there got a couple done as well. So a very, very successful day here already. And we've got more on the way. Gonna be going and hitting up the Dallas Stars alumni right after this. This is a short jaunt up, uh, what is it, Luke 12, straight to the arena from here. So. Hopefully we'll have a little bit of video from inside there, and we'll uh, hopefully have a few graphs to show off afterward as well. It's 10.50, sitting here, in a Taco Bell drive through But everything went well, despite the uh, lack of being able to find any heritage at the stores there. You saw my uh, stuff there from Andy Pettit. I'm gonna have some hockey stuff to show off here once I get home as well. So, the return to IP graphing. Pretty damn good tonight, I gotta say. So, I'll be showing you some hockey here in a bit. Then I'm going to be crashing hard, going to bed. I was thinking I might hit the rest of the Walmarts and Targets on my list tomorrow and the local card shop. I think that's going to be just the local card shop, if anything. I'm, I'm, I can already tell right now I'm going to be beat. My knees are sore, my ankles are sore. But I got every card signed of every player who played in the Stars Alumni thing, except for three cards that I'd had with me. And one of them was a card of a guy that I didn't even know was playing in it until after the game, because he was wearing the wrong jersey. And one was a guy that, I mean, I only had two cards of him. It's not really that big of a deal. So I missed out on getting three cards signed. I will take that any day. So, yeah, I'm gonna grab myself some dinner here. It's been 13 hours since uh, my stuff from today started. I'll have a little bit more to show when I get home. There you go. So, yeah, very solid week overall. Let's see those hockey ones here coming up next. It's midnight almost, I'm back home, I'm well fed. Time to show off what we got here at the Dallas Stars alumni event. So, like I said in the car there, so great, went so well. I, I don't even have words at this point, but a uh, few players, there's one who didn't show up that unfortunately I was really hoping to get because I had, there's a car that I've had sitting here for seven years I was gonna try to get signed for a guy and singing thinking, all right, finally I can get it and then he no-shows. But I got a lot of other ones. So we'll go ahead and show those off real quick. First up, Craig Ludwig, six cards there from him. Oh, uh, let's see here. What's funny is uh, Alesh Hemsky was the one that I was hoping to get. And uh, instead they had Dan Blackburn, former goalie, uh, wearing his jersey and skating out there. And I totally forgot that I had this card of Dan Blackburn with me, so I wasn't able to get a sign when he said, nope, sorry, I'm Blackburn. But oh well, I'll get it eventually. Uh, Landon Wilson was the only other player that I had cards for that was there that I missed out on, so... Overall, yeah, I mean, I really can't complain much there. Right here we've got um, Gerald Diddick signed five cards and Al Secord signed three. Show those off right there. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad on the, There we go. That should hopefully be good. Hopefully those all work. Yeah, there we go. So Secord insists on personalizing. I'm totally cool with that. I was kind of surprised to get Diddick because uh, the one time that I got him before, he was a strict one per, and this time he signed all five I had with no problem. Uh, Kari Lettinen was there, signed uh, three cards that I had of him. I already had Antoine Roussel on both those team leaders cards. Now I just need to get uh, Louis Erickson and Alex Goligoski. Um, Goligoski is still playing. Louis Erickson I don't think is anymore, so not sure how I'll be able to go about getting any of those, but eh, whatever. Got those at least. Got Lettinen on. That's what I care about most. Um, yeah, I mentioned Alesh Hemsky was a no-show, so unfortunately those were not needed. Bob Basson, he's the director of the Alumni Association, signed all four cards that I had of him. There we go. I'm trying to tilt this just right so I'm not getting the glare off of him. Uh, let's see here, we had former Toronto Maple Leaf, uh, I think it was the Bruins and the Blues as well, Andy Wozniewski. He signed the only two cards I had of him, uh, Marty Turco also signed three. 
There we go. Never gotten Wozniewski before. Turco, I mean, two of these cards are going back to my friend Aaron in Wichita Falls. So uh, I was real happy to at least get the one out of those. So there you go. I think that's everything. Let me flip through these real quick. I don't think I put any signed ones onto here. And no, I didn't. So there you go. That's everything that I was able to get from the uh, Stars alumni. I showed you Andy Pettit earlier. Great way to get back into the in-person graphing here once again for the first time, well, first time in any sport for me in over a year, and first time in baseball in God, probably 18 months, year and a half there, so in a while, glad to be back into it, and hopefully this uh, stays ongoing here for a bit. Hopefully I have a few chances at some other uh, ball players who come through and play against DBU or who have other, you know, some youth games down there. There's a few guys who have coached teams that have played out there, so... Keep an eye out for those, and uh, yeah, there you go. Great way to finish out the week. TTMs, heritage hunting that ultimately failed, and uh, yeah, some in-person. So, good stuff. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, make sure that if you haven't hit the subscribe button, you do so. It's down at the bottom of the, underneath the screen somewhere there. Um, make sure to check out sportscardforum.com. All sorts of great information on all things related to collectibles on there. Go and check it out. Tell them that Censored sent you two asterisks on each, or one asterisk on each side of that of the word censored there for my screen name there. And that's it. Hopefully the mailboxes will be just as full next week.